um, just laying on the beach as, as usual. And, um, and I say as usual, we were actually right in the place we normally lay because that was already taken. And lo and behold, we heard what we thought, thought at first was fireworks. But it was soon pretty obvious that it wasn't fireworks, that it was firearms that were being discharged. And people screaming and, and starting to run um, from along the beach towards us. And um, me and my friend, we just said, you know, that's, that's guns, let's go. And we shouted to everybody around us who joined the sort of mass rush from the beach, uh, people running in all directions. And we ended up in the, the spa area of the hotel where we sort of tried to organise people to get themselves um, concealed from uh, away from windows, got the staff to lock all the doors. And um, we stayed there until we started to see armed uh, police officers on the site um, and waited until we were told it was safe to come out. And which hotel are you in? We're actually in the Imperial Maravar, which is the hotel where all of the fatalities are. So you're obviously in a separate part of it? No, we are in the hotel um, um, where it's all taken place. It was, the, it was their private beach where people were killed mm. and also around the pool and the terraced area and actually in, inside the hotel. Um, uh, is it is it overnight, Steve, as far as you're concerned? Do you know? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, the place has been completely locked down now by the military and um, a lot of armed police officers. And well, so everybody, the majority of people have, have gone to their rooms and um, leaving the, the authorities to actually get on because obviously it's a massive crime scene for them to deal with. Mm. And have you been told if there are any gunmen still out there? Um, we don't know. I mean, we've been watching the news um, since we got back into the hotel room and uh, we've actually, we, we went back down to the beach, asked for permission to go back down to the beach when all the um, sort of security was in place to collect our goods because we'd left all of our money and everything down there and it's all been removed and put into safekeeping, we've been told. Um, and we've come back up to a room and they're now in the process of the scene of crime officers and they're removing a number of bodies from around the pool area. Okay, and, and uh, just very briefly in a couple of words, how are you all feeling at this point? Um, we feel quite relieved but also feel quite um, sad for the, I mean there's obviously a lot of people that have lost loved ones and uh, I don't know what sort of state they are in, I mean it, it was just horrific really.